All right, I think this absolutely cooks up the challenge quest. I think I think this is the method. Look, I'm kind of sad that this guy doesn't have a CE, but he does have an NP5 Castoria, so 50% attack buff does kind of go insane. Kiara should cook them up. I'm expecting it to just be range at the very end, because I'm probably going to try to focus down um, Gray over there, because Gray's the one that actually does damage. And so that means I get to actually use carry over here. He can come in. Beat her up. <laughs> the, the amazing 1-1-1 one, one, one kid Itsugu, but he's going to get it done. He's going to get it done. Unfortunately, I would love to give him Origin Bullet, but she's not a, uh, she's not a caster, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. He's not fully back in action, but he's kind of back in action. He's kind of there. Look, the only point for Kiara is just smack, smack, smack. Just beat him up. Just beat him up. If Kiara ends up winning the whole thing, then by all means, you know, she impresses me. But this is the NP1 Kiara. But this is the NP1 Ki uh, Kiara that also has the maximum broken scope. So, so you know, could be kind of good. Could be kind of insane. See, I don't really want to waste too much of the NP because I don't want... I don't want to waste this case code. But I need the immediate debuff cleanse to get rid of these buffs. What is that? Uh, yeah, truck. She's... She, the, the CCC translations, whenever you interact with Kiara, is pretty wild. It's... It's something else. It, it's, it's something else. Let me just tell you that. Let's just leave it at that. It is something else. It is... It's different. Kiara is, is, a, is one of the characters of all time. I like her a lot in CCC, but dude, even in like the very beginning of the game, when you bump into Kiara, the way they kind of word certain parts of Kiara, you know, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Oh, that's why we have to have the super scope, because otherwise we're not getting these kills. That's a lot of HP. Yeah, I need you to relax there, buddy. Bro, what is this? What am I playing? A game of Yu-Gi-Oh? This man just made 50 moves in their turn, bro. Relax. Brother, relax. Just not that serious. Dude, I love using Kiara so much, dog. Just remove all of their buffs for free. Oh, dude, it feels so good. It's so good. You just... Such a good unit. Just says, nah, I'm getting past all your defenses. I'm removing all your buffs. I'm doing everything. It's just the blend of Ibuki and Masashi in one. So good. So good, man. Look at that. Reigns over there is just dying passively in the background. Okay. Um, let's just dodge this attack. Yeah, we're not going to get the buff, but we need to get to 100%. Let's... I guess we'll just get some free eats on Reigns over here. You already got the invul for the turn, so might as well we get our free eats over here. Let's just get our free eats. After getting into it, I loved uh, Gil even more, and I kept telling my friend that the only one that dislikes Gil more than I do. No, nah, I love OG Gil. That's my boy. I like both of them. I think it's very funny that Kid Gil and Adult Gil have beef with each other. Because one of them is like, nah, I'm going to be the super tyrant, man. I'm going to be the the big king and everything. And Kid Gil's like, no, we have to be nice to the people. We can't abuse our power. That's wrong. We can't do that. Very funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm, I don't really want Kiara 
dying. Do I think Kiara's going to get bopped this turn? Do I think Gray is going to focus her down? Maybe. Perhaps. Could potentially happen. So we're just going to we're gonna avoid that entirely. Kiara, I need you to put in more work still. We need to get that NP fire in though, because that's where Kiara gets all of her HP back from. Look, I don't know, uh, Gil just, he kind of grew up and he was like, you know what? It's time to be a big meanie. Okay. So we're popping this not necessarily for the invincibility, but we're getting that HP recovery up. Because that's going to let us heal a lot of HP. I know we lost some HP, but we're going to net make it back. Don't worry, we make it back. That's going to guarantee kill her, but... I, mean, I guess they could smack her for a little bit of extra damage. But one is a little bit of extra damage ever mattered to me. Never. It's never mattered to me. I don't... Uh, look, <laughs> every time I hear the Kiara NP, I'm like, dog, whoever is voice acting Kiara is doing way too much. They're doing too much. Oh, hey, don't crit cast, Tori. That's really rude. It's quite rude. Um, Would I rather get Kiara's stuff back, or would I rather get... I'd rather get Kiara's stuff back. Give me those buffs. Give me that. Yeah, I know that's only one turn, I think. No, okay, the defense is three turns. It's the arts down this one turn. But I was like, uh, I'd rather just yeet all these buffs. You're not allowed to have all these buffs. Sorry. You're not allowed to have all of these. As a Dio fan myself, I don't think they're doing enough. I want to get hit by... Hey, yo! <laughs> Look, I know it seems enticing. I know getting hit by the Kiara NP is like, oh, okay, that'd be pretty based. Uh, but I don't know if you want to get hit by that. I don't know if you want to take a Kiara NP to the dome piece. I don't know if that's something you want. Okay, so y'all two are definitely going down. Um, but this is working out how I thought it would work. This is work. This is working all according to plan. This is going good. Kiara is taking care of the assassin lady. Carrie will take care of the rider lady. Perfect plan. The plan is perfect so far. And our Kiara is nice and healthy as well, which is also good. What if we live because we're casters? What if we tank it? Okay, one of us tanked it. <laughs> one of the cast warrior tanked it. The NP5 one tanked it. My NP! That doesn't matter. Merlin's coming in. We're getting that back. It's fine, we'd get it back. Nah, I'd get that NP back. You know what, I'll take that NP gain, why not? As much as the Kiara Buster crit would be very funny... I think we're gonna save that. <laughs> we'll save the Buster buff for, I don't know, whenever we need max HP. Or isn't a real Artoria, right? So how did she have Rongo? Look, the little box! The little box guy. I forgot his name. Ad? It's like Ad, something like that. Little box dude. Just turns into different weapons. He's like the the most useful, <laughs> the most useful MacGuffin. He's just like the little most useful thing you could ever have. Want Rongo Miniad? 
I could be wrong of Iniad. You want to have a little scythe thing? I could be that as well. Do you mind tapping Kiara? No, okay. Fine. I'll get her NP back myself. Fine, I'll do it myself then. Oh, she removed the, uh, mm, that's annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. This is going to do PP damage, dude. This is going to do no damage. Ugh. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, now that's still decent enough. I saw a 17. I saw a 35. I see a 50. That's still fine. That's still okay. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. But, you know, I, it, it's still annoying. It's still annoying. We might have broken Reigns. Actually, I don't know if I wanted to break Reigns' break bar. Because then she gives herself big McChungus attack. And defense. But they are removable. If I remember correctly. My cooldown! That was very, that was very rude and uncalled for. That was quite rude. I don't think I deserved all of that. You know what? Kiara, are you going to give me a Buster Crit? You want to give me a Buster Crit? I believe. No, <laughs> you know what? Hey, you know what, bro? Hey, you know what? We take those. We'll take them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Lay off the cast Aurea. Thank you, Merlin. There you go. Let's do the chain correctly. I'm giving you a crit crit. Nah, she gave me the buster crit. She gave it to me. She pulled out. Or pulled up, or whatever you want to say. I don't know. With Kiara, I'm pretty sure they're all applicable. What exactly is Kiara? All I know is that she is a nun of these. Um. So. We have a couple different, I guess, takes on Kiara. Mainly it's the CCC game and the CCC event. But generally, Kiara and Kama are like two halves of the same beast. Whereas Kama wants to love everybody, right? She's, you know, loving everybody. Whereas Kiara only has love for herself. Uh, essentially only viewing herself as like the only real person, quote unquote. And... Well, I mean change it right um and so that's why you know she's like oh i'll just have everybody love me and that's why she becomes a beast essentially i know i'm really like, really watering it down i'm like really oversimplifying it but that, that's essentially how their beast of love thing kind of breaks down um she wouldn't have even really made it that far though if it wasn't for the help of hans helping her get all the sakura faces from ccc and bb herself who bb is kind of like Prototype Draco, if you look at her first and second skills. So, it's kind of how it works out. Because as far as I understand, Kiara is like an OC made-up character. Like, there's not actually somebody named uh, Sessio and Kiara. As far as I understand. It's, it's like Emmy is not a real person, you know. You can't go around and be like, alright, let me find out what the heroic spirit Emmy was based on. It's like, that's yeah, probably not a real person. Probably not a real dude. They're just like, what if we made some anti-Buddha lady? And they called it Kiara. And now, why does she... Why does she do some strange, suspicious things to the planet? Beats me. I don't know what they were cooking with that one. I'm not gonna say they weren't cooking. But I'm not gonna say they were cooking either. I'm, I don't really know what to say about that one. Was Rasputin real, and was he an Asian church pastor who likes Mapo Tofu? Well, look, we know that Rasputin's a real guy. Oh, they are unremovable. I was lied to. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Well, I'm still not going to let you fire your NP. Well, I'm still not going to let you do that. I'm still not letting you fire the NP. 
Saya 4 just released that Emiya Alter video explaining the sex cult a little better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if if someone is going to go into... Like, because that's Emiya Alter's whole point, is that he's chasing down Kiara. And then in the CCC event, she kind of, like, reverse Uno cards him and puts him on her team. But if he did a whole video breaking it down, that'll probably give you more information than I can when I'm also trying to make sure I win the fight. I'm kind of sad that Kiara overperformed and I'm not able to bring out Emiya Alter. I'm a little sad that she's overperforming. Well, at least Reigns did identify the threat is Kiara. But look, whenever I hear that, like, NP1 Kiara can't get the job done, she can get the job done. Sometimes you might need to give her a little bit of a push with Black Grail, but I'm pretty sure we could have done this in, I don't know, 10 plus more turns if we just didn't have Black Grail. I just use Black Grail because I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm impatient. Uh, I mean, you could post the link in the Discord. I probably, I don't know, I probably won't watch it. Because I already, like, I already got all the lore I need. The lore videos I watch are typically for stuff that I don't know about. So Ark Knights, which I'm not, I'm into the lore, but I don't know as much about. I typically watch a lot of those. But I don't really watch Fate lore videos anymore because I just find myself disagreeing with little takes here and there that people have. It'll be like, well, actually, that's not technically correct. Technically, this is actually how it would go. So I just tend to not watch lore videos anymore. Yeah, look at that, NP1 Kiara. I'm really sad I didn't get to use Kiritsugu. I was really wanting to use him. Yeah, that really sucks. Kiara, why are you too good? Why are you too good, man?